our life on earth is really our individual travel in time. But when you will be set free from your individuality and your mind will expand to experience your individuality in many, many places and also to see the good outcomes of your actions and to experience life out of the body, out of the box, with mind that is totally free and open to see above limitation of time, then you will see the whole world as a movie, as a picture, as a creation. You will not experience the time in the limited form of being an individual. You'll experience it in a much wider way and you will see many pictures and many lifetimes in, in the same time. While you're experiencing a redemption here, you're going to experience a redemption there. And if your mind will want to travel somewhere, you'll be able to travel as well and you will not be forced to your body. You will be able to travel as a soul while also experiencing things in your body. We will be free from that dimension of experiencing life as an individual and our mind will expand to see the world as a creation because now you are experiencing the present time and in the past you were also experiencing the past actually in the present time you were not there in the past past is the power of your memory that is taking you back to the past but actually in the past when you were there you were experiencing it in the now also in the future there is no real future because you're about to experience the future in the now today you hear two things in the same time you lose your mind you cannot hear what what are you saying what are you saying no i cannot focus on two things in the same time but in the future to come, your mind will be free from the brain, from the physicality of the box, of your chariot, of your mind, of your body, and you'll be free. You'll become back a soul. And as a soul, you'll be able to experience more times. And then you can experience all the dimensions of time that ever took place in the history. And you can travel to all of them and you can see all of them. And they do not contradict each other. Now I'm trying to explain something and I'm not able to reach the point. And I'm doing it over and over and over and over again and I'm still finding it so hard to explain. The existence of your reality being now with Hashem is eternal. After one moment when we are now here, this moment is also eternal, is also above time. The time is the experience of point A and then point B and then point C. The travel between one to two to three to four to five is the life experience that is limited under time. But when you're free from that and you're experiencing both those points or seven those points or 20 million of those points synchronized together in the same time with no board boundaries, with no borders, with no dividings and separation between them, then you see the whole movie. You see the travel of your soul into different bodies in different lifetimes as well. And you can understand where you came from because you can travel and understand what happened to your soul and where it came from when it was still in the bodies of your parents and when it was still as your parents inside the bodies of your grandparents and now you are in four different houses and then you can go back to eight different houses and 16 different houses and different states and different nationalities and different religions maybe even and the history will take you to your root in the holy tribes of Israel and to your root in the first man, in Adam Rishon. And you will be able to see yourself inside Adam Rishon, where you were in the scene, where you were in the time of tshuva, atonement, where you were in the time of uh, enjoyment in the Garden of Eden, and where were you when you were rejected from the endless beautiful life um, in the Garden of Eden and kicked out to the darkness of the exile that we are still experiencing today. And those amazing, amazing understandings will be the reward of a person that will 
that will survive to the last generation and will enjoy that amazing prosperity. And the resurrection of the dead will not be dead people standing up from their graves. It will be, it might also be part of the redemption, but we're not talking about a horror movie with dead people going out of their graves. We're talking about all life times standing up with out the limitation of time and taking place in the same place in the same time in eternal time above time and above place all the people that ever walked on that spot in let's say Yerushalayim in the city of Jerusalem everyone will be in the same time in Jerusalem and no one will bother each other everyone will have enough place and space because it's going to be above place you'll be able to experience few places in the same time and there will be no limitation and it's very hard to explain and to understand but I hope you can understand what I'm saying but in 